Hello? Hi, Bumblebee. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm on as I am every Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time with what sold the past week for me. Uh, most is eBay, but I am getting more and more Poshmark sales because I now have a Posher VA, which is a big help. Uh, I had my two-week free trial, and I just uh, purchased it. So, I had a coupon from one of the other sellers for 20% off, so I got that. And I purchased it for the next six months, I think I took, because you get... Uh, after the first month of 20% off, I will get a certain amount off if I go with a longer period than just month by month. So, I mean, I've made my money back already just in the first free two weeks uh, for the first month or two. So, it can't be anything bad. Uh, also, I sold, I think, 20 five 25 ebay items this week and four poshmark sales they were all from posher va sharing my closet uh, four times a day plus sending out offers it also does that uh, to any watchers or likers or whatever they call them on poshmark <laughs> uh, likers i think so um uh, I'm still trudging my way through that huge box, that 50-pound box. It just seems to be endless. Uh, I still have things in bins that I haven't even had enough hangers to hang up yet. But all morning I ironed, because everything's a wrinkled mess, and photographed some more this morning. So I put on drafts for to. Uh, I put on drafts yesterday for today, so I made them active, and uh, I have to do drafts for tomorrow. So I will have some listing to do after this. And uh, we had a very nice Thanksgiving. My family came over. We had Thanksgiving dinner here. Everybody brought something. Uh, I didn't do the turkey. Uh, my son and his wife did the turkey, and I just had to make mashed potatoes and cranberry relish, and I eat banana bread. I think that's all I made. Uh, oh, and dessert. I had to. I had a pumpkin pie, I had a cranberry apple pie, and brownies. So whatever they wanted. So, and of course, munchies I had out. But we had a good time. Only half of us are vaccinated, so we wore masks most of the time. Of course, we couldn't eat with masks on. Uh, we wore masks most of the time. Uh, we weren't real, real strict. Hi, Randy. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> you too. So, uh, yes, and I bought a, a um, Nest little camera by Google Nest, and it arrived today. I set it up all by myself. It was quite easy, and it's pointing at the family room where it's really wide angle. It shows the whole family room, but it's, it's to show my... Uh, dog crate when I leave. It's an open cage, you know, the wire cage type. But she has such separation anxiety that I want to see what she's doing when I leave for these short periods of time that I'm now feel I can go. Uh, the last time I was gone an hour and a half and she seemed to be much better when I got home. She wasn't just beside herself. So I want to see what she's doing when I'm gone. 
And so I can uh, start to get out of the house a little bit. I haven't been thrifting. I've been buying everything by uh, these wholesale boxes because I don't feel I can go to Goodwill for two or three hours when I'm worried about the dog. So anyway, I had, I told you, 25 eBay and four Poshmark sales, and I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly what I sold. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to start off with a Poshmark sale. It was the first thing I sold last Sunday, and it was actually the first item I think came through with the Posher VA. Uh, this went to Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> it's just a X. Uh, by X2 Laboratory. I don't think it's a really fancy brand or anything, but uh, I think it's maybe by Express. I'm not sure. Dark wash knee length denim skirt. Uh, it sold for $18, and from the $18, I got $14.40. Most of my clothes uh, are anywhere from $2 to $3. Uh, that's what I pay for. Or uh, Poshmark takes a flat 20% of your sales. So, uh, let's see. The next thing is a Taylor Vintage Button-Up Heavyweight Shirt. This is an extra large, uh, I think this was reversible. If I'm not sure. I'm not sure here. Let me see. Yes, reversible. Uh, it was sort of plain on the other side. It was very heavyweight, uh, extra large, and somebody bought it for $30. I took a best offer of $30. It went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, that sold on last Sunday also. Last Sunday was a great big day for me. I sold 274 dollars and 85 cents uh, I was hoping I'd sell one more big thing and make 300 but uh, it was still a really nice uh, Sunday day uh, the next thing here is an eBay sale and come on, this is by Lululemon this is what that top that I got that was I couldn't figure out how it went at all. It was like one big flat piece and it sort of wraps around. I couldn't figure it out till I got it. I saw some pictures of it online and then I got it on the mannequin and figured it out. It sort of wraps around and it can be either a wrap like this or it can be an open cardigan sort of like that. So it's a very strange piece. The back Looks like that, depending on how you wear it, I guess. The back can look like that, or it can look a little more uh, covered up if you wear it like that. Anyway, this sold for $31, a best offer that I took for this, and it went, went to Marina Del Rey, California. Uh, then I sold my North Face uh, jacket. This was a goose down jacket. If you remember me getting this, this was in one of the boxes. I'm not sure which box. I sold it for $100, best offer. I think, I forget what I had on it. Maybe $130, but I gladly took $100 for this. It went to Wadsworth, Ohio. Now, Wadsworth is very close to me. I half expected the person that bought this to ask if we could, you know, if the, he could, we could meet and uh, so he could pick it up. But he didn't. And he paid the shipping for it, which was, you know, like about $11 shipping on it. So, yes, it went very close to me. And I was really happy that I sold this North Face jacket. It was a really nice one. 
<clears throat> okay, that was that was one of the big sale. That was why one of the reasons I had that great big day last Sunday because that's when it sold. Uh, the next thing is a pair. As soon as it got cold, I started selling these line jeans. This is one is by Duluth Trading Company. It had that red and black um, sort of buffalo check flannel inside. And this was a women's size 14. I always put, put work or barn jeans on these pants. And this sold for $25, best offer, which I took. And it went way out to Washington State, to Roy, Washington. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I sold was this little Miss Daisy dress. It's a flowing, ruffly mini dress with spaghetti straps. Uh, the exact opposite of those warm jeans. <laughs> But it sold for $14.44, which was an offer that I sent out to uh, watchers. And it went to Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, the next thing is adjust my size pull-on pants. I think I got these from uh, one of the bags that Michelle gave me from her plus size uh, items that she has. Uh, that she got uh, to put start her eBay business with. So this went to Kirby'sville, Texas. It was a size 14, women's plus size 14, stretch denim, and they sold for $11.77. I sent out an offer to watchers for those, and they sold. Uh, this is a Miss Me tunic length top with a high-low front there. And uh, had a little bit of bling on. You can't really see see it. There you can. Little, little stones on it to give it some bling. And uh, this sold for $18, which was the, oh, that was the best offer that I accepted, $18. And that went to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, next thing is this uh, blue top. This was a heavyweight knit top with three button neckline there, sort of a Henley style top. Uh, I sent out an offer to, for $14.44, and somebody took me up on that, and it went to New York, New York. Ah, the next thing is this little dog that I got from Under Armour, uh, un not Under Armour, Undercover Yard Sale when she sent me that box. This was one of the things that was in it. Uh, this little dog, it, it's a Beanie Boo, uh, Beanie Baby by Ty, six inches. It's a little hound dog. It was so cute. Look at that little face. And... Of all places, this, this dog's name was Banjo, and it went to Arkansas. <laughs> Isn't that that's sort of funny? Because I remember some movie about that. But, uh, yeah, got a new home in Conway, Arkansas. Little Banjo. The next thing is uh, has been mine for years and years. It's a little circle, double circle pin with a horse on it. This is just costume jewelry, silver metal of some kind. It's a scarf pin, and it sold for $9.95, and it went to Los Angeles, California, and uh, went free shipping, so I had to pay shipping. So, But it was mine. I didn't really pay for it. Well, maybe one day I did, but not not in the last 20 years. <laughs> uh, here's a little tiny, tiny top. This, uh, I really had to stretch this on my, my mannequin. It's an extra small. It says small, but I said on that ran really small. And it was this pretty lavender color. It's a little hoodie, a crop top little hoodie. 
and it's by John Galt. I've never heard of John Galt, but um, I looked it up and didn't see anything spectacular. So I let it go for $14 best offer. And it went to uh, Takati, looks like Takati, or to Kate, California. Okay, here's my second pair of, these are Cabela's, and they also have the red plaid inside. These are like barn jeans. These are also women's, size 20. I guess women are doing all the work in the barn uh, this winter. So they bought it for $24.29, which was the sale price, and it went to Bono, Arkansas. <clears throat> Uh, Keith Kimberlin, uh, he's a designer that sometimes does, he does different things, but he made this mug, this little painting on this mug. Uh, I've had this for a long, long time. And uh, this sold for, uh, I took a best offer of $10. But forgetting that I had free shipping on it and these weigh pretty, you know, they had to go priority shipping, so I really didn't make much on this mug at all. But I probably bought it for a dollar. And but it went to Chester Gap, uh, Virginia. Chester Gap. The next thing is this Zadig and Voltaire top. This is really stretchy and had some uh, silver sort of silvery edging on it with little buttons there with this with this neckline and uh this when i looked this up they went for you know a good amount of money so i think i put 38.99 on it and it reduced down on the sale to 35.09 and that's what it sold for so it went to laguna beach california this little top Next thing is, I just got these recently in a box, Uniglow Bermuda shorts. These were wool, a wool pair of Bermuda shorts. I didn't quite understand that, but they were, it was a navy. They were even darker than it shows here. It was a darker navy blue wool shorts, uh, with pockets, just like a pair of dress pants. They were sort of dress wool shorts. And that sold for a best offer $12.50. I took on those. And it went to Macomb, Georgia. Uh, the next thing is by Carrots. Carrots is a brand that people that have horses know. Uh, they make riding pants. They make things connected with horseback riding. Anyway, uh, this was a really nice uh, heavyweight sweater with a zip-up neckline there. And uh, the design was little uh, shoe, uh, horseshoes and horses around the bottom there at low carrots. And it was brown and tan. And it sold for $25 best offer. And it went to Plain City, o Ohio. So that's like my third sale within Ohio here that I made. So the next thing is uh, Diane von Furstenberg. This came in one of the boxes. It was a uh, 1930s style, a vintage style. It's not vintage, but it's vintage style. From looks like from the 30s, uh, button wool dress uh, in a small short sleeve is fitted, uh, had some uh, draping there at the center, had these uh, sort of bronze cover colored coppery buttons on it. And uh, this went for $39.77, which was an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to New York, New York.
And here, here's this, I got this in a box also, Vineyard Vines. This is new in the package. It was one pair of boxer shorts. It had a tag on for $24.50. I sold them for $15.29. One pair of boxer shorts. They had the little whales on them. Uh, they were cotton stretch classic boxers. So maybe somebody's going to get those for Christmas. Uh, the next thing is a Kelvin Klein sweater dress. This is a, it was dark, dark gray, and it was fitted with a cowl collar there. It was a really nice looking dress. It went down and had these sort of, it's the way it was knit. It wasn't really pleats, but it just sort of looked like pleats and flared out at the bottom. Excuse me. Uh with long sleeves. It's size small and it sold for $24.99, the asking price, because it wasn't on sale. So maybe um, either somebody bought it on a Monday or it was on, uh, bought it before I put the sale on. The next thing is uh, I've had this quite a long time by Willie Smith. Uh, it's this sort of, I don't know what you call this, chartreuse or lime green, not chartreuse, lime green, little jacket. It's tied with a satin bow there. It was eyelet, uh, cotton eyelet. It's sort of cute. I'm not sure where I got this. I don't think I would have bought this. So it either came in a box not sure. Size 12. May have been in Judy's bags. I'm not sure. But I sent out an offer to watchers for $18.77. That's what it sold for. And it went to it went uh, global shipping. So I don't know where it went. It went to Kentucky. But then after that, I'm not sure where, where it's going. I should look that up before I come on here. Because... I probably have a tracking number already, but next thing is a Poshmark sale. This is Ann Taylor um, cardigan sweater. This was a size small, I think. That's what that S means. Um, sort of a tweed wool. I'm not sure why I took an offer of such a low price of $13 on this, but I did, and it sold. I don't have where it went to, however. Uh, out of $13, I only made $10 on it. So I'm not quite sure why I let this go for so low. Uh, but I did. It's gone. And I hope it made somebody happy. Uh, here is another big sale of mine. This is a one of my things. It's uh, one of the gold pieces I had with Chief Wahoo. Uh, we're selling. I'm selling things now with anything about the Indians because, of course, they're changing the name and they got rid of Chief Wahoo. I hate the whole change thing, but that's me. Uh, this was just a small pendant, 14 karat gold. Here it is next to a penny, so you can see it's just small. Uh, my husband gave me these when I was such a fan, fan in the 1995, so this is definitely vintage. Uh, he gave it to me uh, with some earrings and another pendant that I haven't sold yet. I sold the earrings, and that now I sold this. And I have another pendant of Jacob's Field, which is the Indians, where the Indians play baseball. It has a different name now. I think they've changed the name twice since then. So it was the name back in the 1995. So I still have that piece. But this sold for $145. And uh, it sold to somebody in California. So I hope they're, they are big time Indians fan. Uh, my son, when he found out I was selling these, had a fit that I, that I sold them. But uh, yes, I'm an eBay seller and 
I didn't wear them anymore and no sense having them sit up there in my jewelry box. Okay, here's a pair of faux leather pants by Kathy Ireland. I thought these would sell right away, but they didn't. I've had these for quite a while. Uh, these were listed in June. Well, not so long. That was like six months ago, if that if that's correct. It says that's when they were listed. Uh, about six months I've had them. They're size women 16. They were brown. They look black here, but they were a dark, dark brown. And they sold for $28.77, which had to be an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Portland, Oregon. Here's another Poshmark sale. This is uh, by Day Trip. It's the buckle. Day Trip, the buckle. I'm not sure that means it's a buckle brand. See the tag here. I don't know. It may be a buckle brand. Not, not so sure. But anyway, it sold for $17. It was sort of an open cardigan. It was knit. Uh, just knit. Not, not sweater. I mean, this was just like a heavy knit. Jer uh, jersey type knit. Elbow length sleeves. But it had fringe all over the sleeves. Uh... Not that I showed very good pictures here. See this fringe here? Yeah, that's what was so different about it. And it sold, I said, for $17. Out of $17, I got $13.60. Uh, the next thing is also a Poshmark sale. And this was a better sale. This is an Athleta Heavy Stretch Pants in a Large Tall. They were a navy uh, blue color, sort of a, not real dark navel, not sure, sort of a dark slate blue color. And they sold for $35. And out of that, I got $28 for those Athleta pants. They were like jeans. They had the same cut up here, uh, like a pair of jeans, but they were pull-on. They stretched to pull them on. <clears throat> so that was an okay sale. The next thing is a Poshmark sale. This was uh, an Affliction shirt with this blue. Uh, they were size. It was a size small, short sleeve. It sold for fifteen ninety nine, which was a sale price I put on it, and it went to Coconut Creek, Florida. Uh, this Under Armour tank top uh, sold for just $10, uh, an offer I accepted, and it went to Vidor, Vidor, I guess, Texas. There's my Texas sale. And the last thing I sold uh, is this pair, is this two, this is a box, a lot of two. They're shoelaces, but they're stretch. Uh, stretch shoelaces with a little thing that you hook them on somehow onto your shoes not sure how they work but somebody bought them for $7.99 this lot of two uh shoelaces and they were free shipping so i probably didn't make much at all on them but they were out of that box of miscellaneous things that i don't really know what to do with so um uh, they were put on I don't know if it says in September of this year. So I haven't had them that long. Uh, that's it. That's what I sold this past week. Let me see if I can get myself back here. There I am. Okay. Yeah, since I messed up my spreadsheet, I don't have to put these on my spreadsheet. <laughs> I'm just going, I did a spreadsheet for half the year and then somehow I erased it. I can't find it anywhere. So I hated doing it anyway. 
So I'm just going to go with what eBay gives you that you can print out. Uh, it's probably more accurate anyway than how I do my bookkeeping. And uh, let me see what people are saying. Hi, Sue. Oh, and Nick and Andrea. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Yes. Uh, yeah, I joined them and stayed on their chat until I had to come on here. Because they're on sort of the same time, a little bit before me. Nick and Andrea are a couple that I watch in the UK. Uh, Sue's here. She's my sister, of course. Uh, Sue, I had a question about a comment you made on my last. I didn't understand what you meant. You, you, all you wrote is no, none at all. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> so I was going to ask you, but. Uh, Yeah, good posh sales. Yes, I have the posher VA set at, uh, I think it's only set right now 10% off of offers. So I know that in regards to that sweater, it's 10% off. Uh, I know that uh, Ginger Marvin, they do 20% off. I think I did 10% off, but I paid a little bit of the shipping. So that could be what it is about this, that item. The buckle bra was from you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, but I had... I had a terrible time trying to figure out how to do that. So it would, mine was, was not sending out offers every day. It would send it out for one day and then it wouldn't do it the next day. So I finally figured it out how to have it do it every day. So it seems to be working fine now. And I, they, it shares my closet at eight in the morning, 12, around 12 noon. It's like 820 or 8.30, 12.30, 4.30, and 8.30 in the evening. Those are the times right now I have it sharing. And then I can see people are sharing back and liking things, and it's very active now. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, I've sold quite a bit of things on eBay that I had to take out of my Poshmark closet I haven't been putting new things in there so now that I have this and I'm selling things I will start to put some start listing things on Poshmark again I don't have lists perfectly anymore but Poshmark is very easy to list on so I will probably do that on some of my better items that I get and uh, yeah I took pictures this morning of that second North Face jacket I got. It's not a down jacket. It's something like mid-weight. It's like something you'd start wearing in the late fall when it's cold but not freezing yet. Uh, it's a women's coat. That other one was a men's. This is a women's. I, uh, I'm taking lots of photos every morning. Sometimes even before I come down for breakfast, I do photography. But uh, as of yesterday, we have snow. It's just mostly on the grass, but some on the driveway. The roads are pretty clear now. We've got about two inches of snow. So December is coming. There's seven uh, that I had eight before. My grandson, when he was here, he's all for me doing more YouTube. But he wants me to do other than eBay. He wants me to do other things. He likes the ones where I'd be in the kitchen and I'd be cooking or making breakfast or being outside and doing things with the chickens and stuff like different things. Of course, he likes that. 
And he keeps saying that you could, I, I could edit your videos for you. <laughs> and he, he kept saying, you could, you could get more, much, you know, a lot more followers. You could make some money doing this, if, you know. But he says, only people on eBay are ever going to watch these, which is true. But people on eBay, uh, there's people on eBay that do these that make lots of money. But they also do a lot of how to do things, which I don't seem to be doing recently. Uh, anyway, my uh, daughter... My daughter-in-law, their dog, they have a Weimer on her. She's older. She uh, was outside. She stuck her head where it shouldn't be and got swiped. I don't know if it was a bite or something with claws swiped her right on her cheek beside her mouth. Whether it went into her mouth, I don't know. But she was bleeding like crazy because it was, of course, on the head. Anything on the head bleeds like crazy. My daughter-in-law is not so much squeamish, but she gets she gets really upset if anything happens to her her animals. Of course, uh, the dog wouldn't let them touch, even to look at it. So they took her to the. Of course, it was after hours and on the weekend, as it is always when something happens to your pet. So she had to take it to the emergency clinic. This emergency clinic is the worst one I've ever heard of. Now I find out it's not only for pets, it's also a people clinic. So it's half and half. She got there around two in the afternoon. She was still sitting in the car at six when I was talking to her. She never got in to see anybody, even for a short time just to see what it was till 10 at night, 10 at night. This poor girl was sitting in the car out in the parking lot. They wouldn't let anybody come in. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, she finally left. She got seen. They gave her a few antibiotics and some pain medicine for her to go home with. And she was to follow up with her doctor. Of course, that's not till tomorrow. This cut will be healed by the time this dog ever sees a vet. It was just horrible. I would, I would have a hard time paying the bill for this. And I would also write a scathing letter about this place. This was just horrible. Oh, there's nine on here. Lindsay's Posh Loft is here now. Yeah, so I was on the phone with them all evening about the dog. She's home now. It's stopped bleeding. Uh, let's see. I have to read this up here. Bumblebee Posh, her VA only sends one automatic offer, but you can choose for it to send bulk offers on your closet at any other time. Yeah, I don't have that bulk offers clicked yet. Uh, just sends out the one automatic. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Lindsay, you, you must know about it too. Yeah, I'm just new at doing this. I just got off my, my free two weeks, but now I'm a member. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, they, here, they probably only take credit cards, so they get pain, they get paid automatically. Oh, right, you, you can't even get on the, on the list until you give them a credit card, I'm sure. Mm, yeah. It still did it. It's still, I know what you mean, paid. Uh. <laughs> so I'm sure their dog will be fine. All the bleeding is because it's anything on the head bleeds like crazy and in the mouth bleeds like crazy. 
I'm not even sure after that'll be the on the third day she gets to actually see a vet whether they'll even put a stitch in if it ne even needs it that late, you know, because it's probably started to heal by now. The swelling's going down. Uh, they gave her some Rimadyl for the pain and swelling and uh, antibiotic. So I'm glad she at least has an antibiotic to start on, but she'll need more. She'll need at least two weeks worth of antibiotics. So uh, undercover yard sale. Oh, yes, you're here. <laughs> yes, you'll see when you go back. I sold the little the little hound dog you gave me in your box. <laughs> the little hound dog named Banjo. It went to somebody in Arkansas. <laughs> How apropos. Uh, I just remember that horrible movie <laughs> from Arkansas. Uh, anyway, that's what I sold. Uh, I hope you'll go back and see Undercover. <laughs> Still getting, I'm not even halfway through photographing that humongous box I just got from uh, thread up I have another one coming it's it's the regular I think 25 piece one coming sometime uh, so I think bumblebees box will probably come after the holiday sometime so I'm in okay shape at the moment and trying to list at least uh, eight eight things sometimes for some reason I have trouble getting up to ten I don't know what the problem is I can get seven or eight on it just seems I get too tired by the time I'm listing to get up to that ten and that's what I want to get to for sure and stay at ten for a while but we'll see. So I'm going to close for now. And uh, my coffee is cold as anything here. It's just a half a cup, but it's ice cold. And I still have to put my drafts on for tomorrow, which is just like listing. So I will see you all. If I get another box, or I'll be on with something in the next few days. Maybe I'll take my grandson's advice and do something other than this and be on. So bye for now. Thanks for joining so much. And uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, whoever's here. And give myself a little hit on the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Doesn't matter. One of them. <laughs> and I will see you again in a few days. Bye.